testing out Horizon Zero Dawn, the Steam version on the Lenovo Yoga 6, the Ryzen 7 5700U. Just got the game today, showing you a stressful part with this big crowd, low 20 FPS running at 1080p. The reason I bought the game today is because they recently updated the game where they changed some rendering options so now it supports the Fidelity FX super resolution and I've got it on the balance preset right now I wouldn't do performance because when you enable performance it makes it look like a 720p image even though you're supposedly running at 1080p so it's basically forcing a 720p image into a 1080p window And for the graphics preset, I've got it on custom right now. It's pretty much a low preset except for textures. I bumped it up to medium because on low, the faces look weird in cutscenes and up close. So I'll bump that up. And I'll show you. I'll change the resolution here in a minute after I toggle to the desktop because the way my Aver Media recorder works, if I change the resolution, it kills the recording. But I'll go to the desktop real quick, so I'll show you some of my settings here. I do use this AMD APU tuning utility. I got a 86 degree preset that I made. Use this at your own risk. It's very, very similar to Lenovo's Extreme Performance one, but Extreme Performance, if you plug it in on that setting on wall power, it immediately thermal throttles because it's overheating. Here's the Radeon driver. I did change the VRAM to 2 gigs. The game will warn you that you don't meet the minimum system requirements. It will run anyway. 16 gigs, 3200 megahertz DDR4. So I'll switch back to the game. Go back into settings here. And this will probably break the recording, changing the resolution. But norm what I've been playing it at is the 1600 by 900 on the balanced mode. And except for these big crowds, the frame rate's really close to a steady 30, except it will dip at the beginning of cutscenes. So let me see if I can apply this without breaking the recording. OK, so it didn't break the recording. So you can see it makes the frame rate much better. But this is about as stressful as it's going to get with these type of crowds. And this still looks pretty decent. It's not base PS4 quality by any means, but this is still decent quality. And when you're outside these areas, it's perfectly playable. And then another thing I'll show you. I'll switch it to that performance preset where it makes everything really ugly. So this makes everything really blocky, really shimmery. It's basically a 720p image, but it does help out with their performance in the crowd. So it's up to you if you want to use this, but it's basically 720 so you might as well knock the resolution down to 720 and I'll toggle over to um, I'll show you some of the in-game benchmark footage so this is after quitting and reloading the game to do the in-game benchmark I recommend if you're doing this benchmark just exit the game and reload it because it's not consistent run to run it has weird glitches at least with this latest version so to show you the settings again that I've been playing it in 1600 by 900 FX super resolution balanced pretty much the low preset except textures are set to medium so I'll run part of the benchmark you don't need to do the whole thing it's a really long benchmark but I'll, st I'll stop it after it gets to a really stressful point
So it'll be coming up to a bridge with a big arch, and then it's going to start showing a crowd, and that's a really stressful point in the benchmark. But this is a really long benchmark. It just keeps going and going and going. So I'll stop the recording after it goes through the big archway and shows the crowd. So here's the big archway with the long bridge. That's about as bad as it dips on that benchmark.